Okay everyone, so here is a question from a linear equation or we can say simple equation. So the question is, the sum of 4 times a number and phi gives a number phi times of it. Find the number. So we have to find the number and they have given a relationship between the number and the other numbers. So let's start solving this. So if you read the question once again, they have given the sum. Sum means addition. So addition of two things, the sum of 4 times a number and 5. But what is this 4 times a number? Here we don't know what is number. So this unknown thing we are going to assume as a variable. We can take any variable. Here in this question I am going to take it as x. So let's start solving this. So here I will write down. Let the number be x. So this is an unknown number we have to find out. Now what is this 4 times a number? So let me write down what is 4 times a number. So 4 times, here times means nothing but multiplication. So this is multiplication. Okay. So 4 times a number means this is 4 multiplied by x which is nothing but 4x. Okay. So we got 4 times a number. So here they are doing the sum of 4 times a number and 5. So we have to add this 4x and 5. Okay, so we have done one part of the equation. So here and what they are saying when we add this 4 times a number and 5 it gives 5 times of it. 5 times of it is nothing but 5 times a number. So like 4 times a number is 4 into x. Like that 5 times a number will be 5 into x which is nothing but 5x. So here 4x plus 5 will be equal to 5x. So this will be a linear equation or simple equation. So in exam if they ask you form a equation, so this will be the equation you can stop here. In this question they are asking to find the number also. So we have to solve this further. So what I have learned that we have to bring all the variables to one side and the constants to other side. So here I am going to transpose this 4x to the other side. Okay? And this 5 I am going to keep it on this side. So here we will get 5 is equal to 5x minus 4x. Now since this 4x is in addition, the sign here is positive. It's not given, but if the sign is not given, it's a positive sign. So when it transposes to other side, it becomes negative. Like it, we have to subtract it. So 5 is equal to 5x minus 4x is 1x. Or you can just simply write x. So here we got the value of x is 5. Or you can just rewrite this as x is equal to 5. So that's it. It was a simple question. You can expect this kind of question for two marks. So I hope it's clear. Now in case you have any other question or doubt, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.